cleansing society, Iran's insidious new emboldened forced hijab policy. Continuing the harsh crackdown on women, the Islamic Republic of Iran's Headquarters for the Promotion of Virtue and the Prevention of Vice has released a 119-page document outlining the unhinged new rules women must observe. Titled Hijab and Chastity Project, its most important goal is, quote, cleansing society of the pollution caused by nonconformance with the Islamic dress code. The order also aims to, quote, build a model of an Islamic society in regard to chastity. The document requires medical staff to provide appropriate garments to female patients undergoing surgery, fines individuals found to be importing vulgar dresses, and imposes mandatory prison sentences of up to two years for simply posting content against hijab online. It even proposes surveillance cameras to document women in improper hijab and send them cultural packages to their homes along with fines. The document also says that the driver's licenses of private citizens may be suspended and their cars impounded if their activities or the activities of that of their passengers are found to be deepening anti-regime sentiment. Government workers are also told to deny service to women in improper hijab. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Each aspect of the new policy has dozens of stipulations that must be strictly followed, spelling out an insidious and cruel future for the Iranian people. You're muted. I said, where is this document? This doesn't seem realistic. This is not something the regime can enforce. Like, we have, I don't, like, we have moved way past this. Like, there's too many people that would not be submitting to this, That the, and the government doesn't have the resources to be able to do enforcement at this level. I mean, I don't know what this, are you dreaming? What, what is this document? Is this, like, somebody's one one like one official's wet dream or is this like can you no so apparently this was circulated officially last winter but now people have gotten their hands on it and have translated it right so actually to answer your question i want to read a segment from iran wire that explains things very well because also the exactly what armin says the regime admits how unpopular it is and how they know the, they know this. They are extremely self-aware of exactly what you just said. So I'm going to read a, something that explains this. Okay, quote, the grounds for enforcement. The headquarters manifesto correctly notes that a range of surveys and opinion polls have found public opinion in Iran does not align with that of the government with regard to forced hijab. In fact, the authors concede an estimated 74% of Iranians prefer a quote unquote globalist outlook and opposed to the regime's own ideology. By globalist, that's like a dog whistle for like Jewish Zionist. They also just like use that to mean like Western for people who don't like know what globalist means. Okay, anyways, the number of Iranians who do not believe in mandatory hijab, as the report observes, is increasing by the day. Then, however, the authors sought to present a series of contributing factors to rising disregard for forced hijab in Iran. In doing so, they revealed more about the Islamic Republic's approach to governance than the Iranian people itself. According to the obstacles, the report claims are a lack of comprehensive and operational roadmap and plan, and the absence of, quote, uh, accountable custodians of a hijab and a lack of guarantee of an effective execution of the law. The document also includes a whole section entitled Pathology that seeks to analyze failings in the enforcement of mandatory hijab to date and includes the law not being comprehensive enough, jail and flogging sentences not being executed, and the rules having gradually lost their power of deterrence. Tellingly, the report also blames low-level officials and managers who, it said, did not consider hijab a priority, described as having not been courageous or expedient enough when it came to hijab. The report asserts that these officials have effectively turned into an opposition force. So, like this whole article analyzing this hijab basically goes step by step analyzing how exactly what Armin says they 
the report outlines how step by step they want to beef up their ability to enforce these things on every single level, including in the home. So, uh, wait, where was it? They have one thing where they they outlined like 13, um, according to the proposals of the hijab and chastity project, it should be rolled out in 11 types of loca locations. They include government offices, public transport, clothing stores, schools, but also neighborhoods and homes. So basically they want to increase their authoritarian control like by magnitudes. Okay. Th by the way, this, this headquarters that uh, uh, published this document, I don't think, I think they're dreaming. Okay. I don't, I mean, this is the headquarters of the promotion of virtue and pre pre prevention of vice. Do you know what that, what that means? That's Amr Ma'ruf Anna Hezman Kar. That's yes. a Quranic. Yeah. Okay. So that's just a, Part of Islam that you're supposed to just basically uh, police excuses morality policing everybody, right? But I just this is not I don't know what these headquarters are like the the center of Amr Ben Maruf and Nas Like I I mean I know they exist. I just don't think like they're part of the. I think this is just their wet dream. Like I don't like who's gonna do this? He, let me tell you, okay? The police themselves, okay recently have come out and be like we can't do this <laughs> right like the people that are on the ground um, have been complaining about the level of enforcement that they are required to do to people and like we can't do our job like we are there's there's a bigger and bigger gap between us and the community because we're arresting them like we're like pressuring them for what they're wearing and stuff like that and to do all the other work we do, this gap is making our job difficult and we don't even have the resources. Like we don't even have our resources to basically do our normal job, let alone this other work that we're supposed to be doing, right? And these resources are decreasing and more and more people, let me show you what girls are like right now. Okay, so first of all, I don't know if you know, recently I covered on Secular Jihadists that the supporters of um, uh team and girls were for, for, for the first time allowed to come to the stadium because not because the regime wants them to, but because FIFA is pressuring Iran to do this or else they will be kicked out of FIFA. And now the red team, they have a blue team and a red team, which is the Persian police, the Persian police fans, girl fans were also allowed. Okay. I just want you to see the type of clothing that these girls wear. Okay. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Is my shirt. Oh, yeah. Sorry. This year. All right. Let's see. Hold on. Look at. Look at them. Wait, this describe is... it for people who are only listening on audio. Okay, okay. Hold on. Uh, I could just try. This, this is the way the Iranian girls are coming out in Iran to celebrate their team. Okay. This is this is the this is how they are. Okay. So and but this is the first time. So the, the last last week I showed you the the blue team. Now I'm showing you the red team. Okay, um, this is the first time that they're legally because before they wanted to come to the stadium they had to dress up as boys and stuff. This is the first time that they legally are coming out as girls. And some of them cried. Actually, let me show you the cry. Because this is not just about for them. This is not just about being able to come to the stadium. This is about being treated as like equal as a like as a human being they can just do normal stuff right they've been fighting for this okay so this means a lot to them right and it's also it's also so so um a sweet victory for them because it's not it's not like in saudi arabia where the government is like giving to you like oh here i'm giving you a gift because out of my own benevolence okay the iranian regime has been forced to submit to this so that's what because of fifa so this is not something that they're doing this willingly so the victory is like sweet like very sweet because they know that this is by force look this is how they're coming out okay and this is like you cannot mm -hmm. this is this is like when iran tried to ban um satellite tv right satellite dishes they were really they, they they gave up and that's still illegal in iran but everybody almost everybody has that everyone with tv has satellite dishes even though it's illegal in iran because it's just too much too many people are now disobeying the law that it makes the enforcement of the law almost impossible. So this like center of Amr Ben Maru of Anahaz Makar, this religious official, I think I think they might just be dreaming. I don't think like the armed forces are going to be like, yeah, sure, 
keep like keep like I don't know how author how much authority they have, but I think this is just like their ideal scenario, which is not probably never going to happen. Okay, look at this. Look but at they want to use facial recognition to track women on the subway about that a job. Yeah, they want to do a Chinese level. It's just too late. It's too like this is like I don't think you could put the genie back in the bottle anymore. I mean, if they can, it would be very impressive from an authoritarian perspective. I just don't think they're capable of undoing all of this anymore. It's nice to see them having fun in the stadium. <laughs> this is the first time in stadium. She's. A... We have Look no audio, the... by the way. Oh, you don't? Okay. No, but it's fine because, like, we can talk over right. it so okay okay so yeah let me actually go to this part where look at this one she's crying oh, so look at this outfit for example this is like <laughs> all this hair showing like that that cover is just to keep it legal okay but this is like a very liberal look look at these other girls like she's just wearing a hat she's not even wearing a hijab look this one is crying she can't believe like they it finally happened. They finally are allowed to be doing the stadium. I, don't know, I I fully endorse this one because like unlike Saudi Arabia, it wasn't a gift from the top down. Anyways, these are the, but they all they have their own seg, uh, section like they're separate from the men. But still, mm -hmm. it's a cool. And again, th a victory like this makes them feel like look this one, look at this one in the middle. She has no hijab, and she's on camera. And they have like they don't give a crap like they're on camera with their faces and everybody like this one is not wearing a job she's wearing a hat and this is all this is illegal and they don't like they, they like it has gotten to a point where you can't get in trouble but it's unlikely so everybody and more and when people are saying that more people are getting away with it that means more people are just going to do it and then there's no way to clean this mess up there's no way to clean this mess up for the regime like they think they're looking at China. Like if China can have that much surveillance, maybe we could do it as well. But you don't have the resources, and also the people out in Iran are too. Like in people in China, the CCP has managed to make the people submit. Okay, mm -hmm. but right now in Iran, the attitude is not like that. The attitude, like even if you had this Chinese level surveillance method, the attitude of people is in rebellious mode. So you can't undo that. I don't know how. You, I mean, again, maybe I have to maybe come in a couple of years. They were like, no, maybe they were successful, but I just don't think so. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't seem like it. Like this is Iran. Like they're like. By the way, look, they're doing this in the middle of, in front of this dementor. <laughs> right. This, you know what this is? This is a lady that's supposed to keep them Islamic. You see this black. Oh, she's the <laughs> religious morality police. No, yeah, she's the she's like she's a person. <laughs> Whenever you see a dementor in the middle of the woman, she's the one who's. I don't think to we should it. say that, Armin. I think it might be against oh. TOS. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like outfit that looks like a. Uh, no, she's okay. Okay, so I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay, it just looks like that. Okay, I just feel uh, what I'm saying is that you can see how Islam, um, the outfit. I'm not dehumanizing her. I think Islam is dehumanizing her making her wear outfit that in, in fiction is associated with the absence of happiness. Okay? Literally Dementors, sucking out your soul. That's what it's associated with. Yeah, and your joy and happiness. That's what they're associated with. And that's the outfit that religion, Islam, prescribes for women. Okay? So I'm not doing the dehumanization here. Islam is. Okay? But look, but I think she's like, look, look, she's supposed to keep all of this Islamic. And look, she's like, she can't do anything. She just has to stand here and watch. Anyways. Okay, so that was that. That was an interesting thing. Anyways. Yeah, I just think uh, like, this is not... We're seeing such an emboldening of like state crackdown right now. I think we're really just seeing the beginning of it. Now, Armin, yeah. in this report, oh my god, there's so much about this report I wish we could dig into. Like We could do a full episode. It talks about, because you know how you say that you think that this is happening just to signal to the religious base? They literally talk about that in this report. No way. Yeah. yeah like, maybe yeah, we should yeah. have this a separate is... discussion about that. Yeah, yeah. This is So they know that this is not possible, but they want to 
pro provide some hope from the 20% of Iranians who are pro the Islamic regime and they they you have they're they're dealing with secu uh, insecurities right now they feel like we have this regime the government is on our side the, the military is on our side how are we losing how are we losing the people right so they think like they're losing the Islamic revolution um so to keep them loyal to the regime because like if they can't keep the country islamic why do we even have an islamic republic if we can't keep this country islamic so for the re this is the this 20 percent of the population of iran is the regime's base so if they want islam you have to give them islam or else you're going to lose your base because you don't have the other 80 percent, right so you have to provide them some hope that's a very good point that's a very interesting point guys yeah. we have such good interesting takes here Wait, before we go to the else. next segment, I just want to like apologize. I feel like I started off this show like very negative because I'm having a hard day. And so like sorry to everyone. No, that's okay. You were right though. Like, I mean, I mean, I think <laughs> that... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no, you know, because okay. you like want it to be entertaining and fun, and I'm just like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was like funny. harsh and jumping down people's throats and being mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's actually interesting. It's, I, don't, I don't know. I enjoyed it. I don't know if other people enjoyed it. I think Oxymoron left or said yes. Still here. I think Oxymoron gave up. <laughs> you know what the last thing Oxymoron said before leaving? I think I, I haven't seen him come unless. Hold on. Next, after that, he just left this. I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then he left. He hasn't been commenting since. But Satya is still here. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, here. He, he's back. Axel is back. <laughs> I just feel like I'm I'm bleeding on everyone else, you know? So I'm going to get my act no, together. <laughs> no, you <laughs> No, okay. Getting angry is actually some justified something. Okay? You know, here in Atheist you. Republic, we keep it real, okay? <laughs> and th that includes being a hot mess while being live recording. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly. That's how we okay, should. I so don't even want if you hate else. me because I trash you and your opinions, I think <laughs> it's kind of lovable, okay? <laughs> 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 hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below. <laughs>